Hey, Harry Potter fans, Peter <laughs> Kenneth here. Welcome to the Potter Collector Channel, where we are a community of collectors. Today, we are opening up another Trunk of Requirements box. Now, if you don't know, the Trunk of Requirements is basically an escape room inside of a subscription box, a Wizarding World themed escape room. So this will be the fourth one we've opened up. Two of them were super hard, one was fairly easy, so we'll see how this one compares to the others. As we open up this box, you'll see as we go along that the items that are included in the box, or at least most of the items that are included in the box, have clues on them that you have to find and discover. And I've got a piece of paper and a pen to help us solve the clues, write down any numbers we find, any names we find, and we'll see if we can solve this box. Now the theme of this one, I believe, was the association, or like Order of the Phoenix slash Dumbledore's Armory, perhaps? So we'll see as we open it up and go along. But here is the front of the box. It says, I will repost trunk of requirements. We've got the Deathly Hallows symbol on the back and it's like a trunk. All right, here we go. The box has been opened. <gasps> All right, so we have a proclamation educational decree. Let's pull this off. Oh, I don't think it comes off. There's just something behind it. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so there's probably gonna be like some sort of special glasses in here because look at this. See how that print is all blurry? We're gonna put some sort of glasses on and then we'll be able to kind of decode or see what this is all about. So that's really fun, we'll put that aside. Now, the last box that we opened up, does this come off? Oh, okay, very carefully it comes off. Is this the, oh, that's the cheat sheet. Maybe we'll just leave it on for now. We might need these symbols, but we'll just leave this on for now. No, let's take it off. It's so indecisive. All right, we'll take it off, but we won't look at the back. So we're gonna put that over there. So as I was saying, the, the so the last box that we opened up from the trunk of requirements was so hard. It was almost frustrating, but this one, I'm determined to figure it out. The next thing we're opening up is this envelope, which has the same symbols on it and the same I think that's a griffin. Yeah, that's a griffin, not a hippogriff. And the same griffin in the center. And inside we have a little kind of welcome card. Oh, there's some like swirls on the back. I wonder if that has something to do with anything. All right, we are pleased to inform you that you have been endorsed to join the association. To prove your allegiance and be accepted, scribe your signature using your house pen. Once complete, you must separate your signature to the registration parchment. Caution for safety purposes, seek adult supervision, lightly brush with lit flame of the mystic candle provided from under the parchment, then quickly extinguish the colorful flame. Interesting. That sounds fun. All right, we'll put that aside as well because we need to get our house pen. So I guess there's a house pen in here. What is this, like a banner of some kind? Lots of schnigglies. We love our Snigglies. We have Ariana's Super Pastilles, trolley of ridiculously regal treats. Oh, there's like, these are like actual treats. Okay, fun. But what is this banner of magic? Oh, cool. It's um, it's a tapestry. Oh, what? This, was this in the Gryffindor common room? I'm pretty sure this was in the Gryffindor common room, but look at this tapestry of the unicorn. I've got to look this up now. But this thing is huge and it's made out of like a flag material. So it's, it's really nice and sturdy and would hold up. Really nice printing on here. And again, Gigantosaurus. That's massive, like massive. The unicorn tapestry. Oh wait, it's not actually a Gryffindor tapestry, it's just based off of a very famous tapestry called the Unicorn Tapestry, or the Hunt of the Unicorn, and was made in the South Netherlands around 1495 to 1505. But I'm pretty sure we see this, or something similar to it in Harry Potter. Oh, here's a picture of Ginny next to the tapestry, so, and I think this is the Room of Requirement. So I think this is a tapestry from the Room of Requirement. I know I've seen this in a Harry Potter movie. Yeah, room of requirement, I think. But really fun item. The only negative I could say is it's almost too big. 
because it would be difficult to find wall space for something this massive, but the size is also what makes it so cool. So it's not really a negative. I mean, you could probably put this on the back of a door. It might be a little bit too wide, but really fun item. There are some letters on here, symbols. So let's remember these. I don't know if they mean anything, but two symbols here that might have something to do with the mystery of this box. All right, we've got some wrapped items, some brown paper wrapped items. Let's actually just pull everything out. There usually aren't any clues inside of the box, so I think we're safe to put that aside for now. All right, let's open this up. I think it's like a mug of some kind. Oh, that's cool, it's a wooden stein, holy cow. Oh, we've got tapestry hanging hardware, so that's nice. Look at this, it's a wood stein, the inn. Four Tusks Lager. This is beautiful, like really, really beautiful. Look at this thing. It's wrapped up in this silver rope or trim, real wood, solid wood, and it looks like there's a coating on the inside, so you should be able to actually use this, which is even more cool. Can you imagine going to the Three Broomsticks and just having a delicious butterbeer, you know, when it's snowing outside? Very cool item, okay. Uh, we've got a coin. Okay, this is a galleon. Now, I know that in Dumbledore's army, everyone had galleons that would have a date on it, and that date would tell you when the next Dumbledore's army meeting was gonna happen. This does not have a date on it. It does have a, a year, 1474, but I don't see any... Oh, there we go. We've got numbers on the side here, and they're backwards. So we've got backwards numbers on the, the side of this coin. So let's just write down these numbers. So 0, 4, 0, 3, 1, 9, 9, 5, dash 1, 8, 1, 5. So we have a date, 0, 4, April, although it could be the 4th of March because in the UK, the day is always first and the month is second. Here in the States, the month is always first and the day is second. So it could be either April 3rd 1995, but 1815, that's military time, and the UK tells time based off of the 24-hour clock, so most likely this is UK, so most likely it's March 4th, 1995, which is one day before my birthday. So 18 is 6, so 6.15 p.m. So most likely, again, it's going to be in March and not April, but I've got April marked down anyway. Got our first clue, and that is the date. Is there anything on the pouch? So there's a D and an A, so Dumbledore's army. That's kind of a clue to tell us, hey, Dumbledore's army, they have a galleon, which gives you the date of the Dumbledore's army meetings. Really nice pouch, really nice embroidered D and A on there. Gorgeous. But let's talk about the galleon itself. Really nice, solid metal, beautiful finish on here, great design. Overall, a great galleon. All right, next up we have a bookmark, a wooden bookmark. So the Trunk of Requirements has been putting out a bookmark. Oh, interesting, okay, so there's like partial letters on here, and I noticed there were also partial letters on the back of this association sign-up card. So that, I think we might have to put like pieces together to see exactly what it reads or something like that. Apart from that, we have um, a wand and a cat and a rat. D-A-D-A, -A, Defense Against the Dark Arts Beginner's Guide. Oh, on the back too, we have those letters showing, partially showing, I should say. I just wanna open everything up and see what we can find. Next up in this black box is, oh, our candle. Okay, so this is the pen and the candle. So here's the candle, here's the pen in a Slytherin green sleeve. Really nice packaging. We have a snake at the bottom there. Look at this gorgeous sleeve. And then the pen itself, holy moly cannoli, is that gorgeous. Oh, beautiful. This also has that same snake logo etched into the pen. That is a beautiful pen. Look at that gold there and then the wood. Look at this, it's a fountain pen with that fountain pen tip. Amazing. Um, okay, so this said something about like, does it, wait, to prove your allegiance, and be accepted, scribe your signature using your house pen. Once complete, you must disapparate 
your signature to the registration parchment. So does that mean this is like invisible ink? So I had to look up how to start a fountain pen and there's like a shake method. And then if the shake method doesn't work, like you can dip it in water and try to get the, the ink to flow. So the water method worked. So let's sign our name on the parchment. All right, we are all signed. Now we have to send the ink or the signature to the registration parchment. So we want to light the candle. Ooh, cool candle, look at that color. Look at that magical color. Okay, so then we lightly brush the flame over the signature. <gasps> Whoa, oh my gosh. It's literally vanishing. That is really cool. We are officially registered. Okay, that was Fun. Let's keep unboxing things. We've got another box here and inside. Ha ha! Didn't I say there would be glasses? We've got glasses Which are oh these are fun. These are wooden Wooden glasses with the Dumbledore's army symbol on it It's funny one of the earpieces has trunk of requirements on it like so and then the other is mirrored So I think that's like a clue that like oh you've got to look at something in the mirror or whatever which I think was the What was it? Oh, the coin. All right, let's attach. Oh, there's, oh, 1815. Okay, so we've got 1815 on here again, which is 615. But let's take a look at these glasses. So these are Luna's Spectre Specs. Really cool wood version. And if we put them on. Oh, wow. I wish you guys could see this. I don't think that the camera will pick this up, but it's, it's turning this image 3D. So Hogwarts is literally 3D and the words are just like popping off of the page and the Griffin as well. Oh, that is so cool. All right, so the words on here say, minted in the mouth of a dragon and carried each day for luck. In reflection, discover the month and year our gathering will be struck. So minted in the mouth of a dragon, so minted in, in fire, and carried each day for luck, a coin, a lucky coin. In reflection, discover the month and year our gathering will be struck. So I, that's referring to this coin. So we've already figured that out. We've discovered the month, the day, and the year. Although this says month and year. So I'm wondering if just March 1995 is necessary. And then this, as I mentioned, also has that time, 1815 or 6.15 p.m. All right, we've got one more thing to open up. Well, actually we have these to open up too. So maybe there's a clue in there as well. Ooh, we've got the room of requirement door. Oh, they, they gave us a mirror too, that's cool. So we'll be able to, to look in the mirror. So the, the door reveals itself, really cool. This is lenticular, look at that. So cool, the door appears. Is there anything on here? There is, okay, so there are those words again that we're gonna have to like line up or something. But here is the mirror. Let me take the little protective film off. So there's the mirror, there's you guys. Wave hello to yourselves. So if we look at the coin in the mirror, it will tell us the correct date and time. All right, so we still have those words though to figure out. Let's open these bad boys up. The glasses do anything for this? So they're like, Whatever they are, they're good. I just don't know if, like, should we unwrap all of them? Is there some sort of message on one or inside of one? There's nothing on the inside, but Ariana's super pastilles. So Ariana, her portrait is inside of the hog's head. So trolley of ridiculously Regal treats, rosy queens. The thing I'm confused about is like the last one we were given, like we had to figure out a word in order to open up the lockbox in order to get the key to the egg, which was our last clue. This, I don't know what the end game is. So we have the date. I just don't know what we're supposed to find. Now on the back of this, we did have a QR code. So I wonder if we, let's see if we can follow the QR code, what that does, if it tells us anything. 
Okay, this is so a password. So it's probably the the oh this yeah this said month and year. So discover the month and year. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna first try March 1995 invalid. Okay, so then let's try 03 1995 invalid. 0403 1995. All right, let's get back to the riddle. Maybe there's something we missed. Um, minted in the mouth of a dragon and carried each day for luck in reflection discover the month and year our gathering will be struck minted in the mouth of a dragon carried each day for luck day month and year all start capitalized day month year so maybe we do have to have the day in here so oh didn't we do the deer the day I thought we did the day. All right, so 04, yeah, 403, 1995. Invalid. Oh, it literally says right here, all lowercase, no spaces, no special characters, no numbers, only letters. So if I would have read the instructions, so it would be, so day, month, year, uh, the 4th of March, 9, how do you spell 19, 19, 19 five invalid password let me type it one more time maybe i made a mistake i wish you could actually see what you're typing instead of like the dot 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 because you don't know if you made a mistake all right the fourth of march again no capitalization 19 9 t 5 oh it worked okay trial one of three completed you have discovered the correct date okay oh okay so we've got uh wait okay hold on Trial two begins now. Read the riddle below and fill your response in the linked password page. Oh, there's another, okay. So we've got this now. So we've been brought to this page with a new riddle, which looks like this, but it's like a different castle view. Okay, now we're, now we're getting excited. The army awaits you until dusk appear on the date of the coin etched by the brawn of a tusk discover the time to join okay we've already discovered the time to join so 6 15 um etched in the brawn of a tusk tusk does it mean this 18 15 okay so i'm guessing you enter 18 like the okay so yeah, again no numbers so 18 1815. We'll see if I have to do PM or something, maybe. All right, no. Let's see. Let's add PM to this. Invalid. Let's try let's try 615. No. So we did 1815 PM. We did 1815. We didn't do 615 PM. There, we got it. Okay. Trial two of three completed. You have discovered the correct time. Trial three begins now. Read the riddle below and fill your response in the linked password page. So we've got one more riddle to figure out. Front to back and flipped around, three pieces way will guide you to where you are bound. All right, that's gotta be to this. So front to back and flipped around. So front to back. So we have to line up, all right, so one, two. What was the other one that had the Something else had the letters on it. Yeah. So these are the three pieces. We've got to, this is gonna be hard because this is lenticular. Front to back. So front, this is the front maybe, this is the back. Or this is the front and this is the back. Front to back and flipped around. Oh, this is also in the back. Three pieces will guide you to where you are bound. Front to back and flipped around. Oh, oh, front to back. Oh man, this is hard. It is. Oh, we got a match. So B A I N Bane. O oh, R. Bar N. Barnabas. 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 Oh, it's gonna say Barnabas the Barmy. Barnabas the Barmy. Barnabas the Barmy. I know that has something to do with the room requirement, but I. Is it like a statue of Barnabas the Barmy? I'm gonna actually Google it before I... That's probably the password. Hold on, Barnabas the Barmy. Oh, it's a tapestry, okay. So 
Barnabas the Barmy was a wizard who made a bizarre and foolish attempt to train trolls for the ballet. Oh, duh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Barnabas the Barmy. Okay, so it's a tapestry opposite the entrance to the Room of Requirement. Okay, so the Room of Requirement is going to be where we go. Um, all right, hold on a second. Barnabas the Barmy. Invalid. Maybe I spelled it wrong. Oh, I think I used, I said U instead of A. Barn, a bus, the bar, me. Yes! Dun dun da! Trial three completed. You have discovered the correct location. Oh, fun, we did it! Congratulations, you have successfully found the Trolls Ballet Tapestry and now may turn around and enter the association. And then once you've figured all that out, you can enter into the Trunk of Requirements giveaway. So every time the Trunk of Requirements releases a box, they have a giveaway once you've discovered how to complete all the tasks. So the item available in this giveaway is the Mirror of Desire or a Magical Cabinet. So there, we figured it out, we did it. I think this was a lot easier than the past box. I mean, the letters and the words were really, really hard to figure out. But once they lined up, it was so obvious, like, oh yeah, duh. Whew, okay, I was determined to figure this one out. So these little like treats didn't really have any clues or anything on it, except for like Ariana's super pastilles, Ariana, again, being Ariana Dumbledore, whose portrait is in the Hogshead, which is owned by Aberforth Dumbledore, which is where the Dumbledore's army first meeting happened. So that's kind of a fun nod to Dumbledore's army. Um, my guess is after like going through this, this was in the room of requirement because it wouldn't make sense that it was in the Gryffindor common room for a room of requirement or Dumbledore's army themed box. Very fun. And then this is the cheat sheet. So let's learn about these different items. Oh, here's the front of the cheat sheet, by the way. Very cool. Nice print. Which educational decree is this? All students, well, organizations, societies, and teams, or groups, or clubs, are henceforth disbanded. All right, so the captured unicorn tapestry. The magic of the unicorn is known throughout the millennia, as are the magical traits of its horn, blood, mane, and tail. This story is one of ancient lore and depicts a captured and harnessed beautiful beast. Corralled and collared, it waits patiently with dignity, keeping its head held high and a longing for help from others. When hung with care, this printed version will adorn any castle wall or homestead with pride, even guarding secret doorways, offering protection from bombardment. The Galleon Prototype and Member Coin Pouch. Charmed by the smartest witch of her age, this prototype coin was a key tool in sharing secret information among the association members. Adorned with an ancient horn tail dragon and master wizard, this coin may share more than mere face value. Reflect on your day. Oh, look at this again. The day, month, and words term are all capitalized. Reflect on your day and embrace the month and you may find a hidden value this term. Ariana's Super Pastilles. Introducing a new exclusive brand to Trunk of Requirements, Rosie Queen's Trolley of Ridiculously Regal Treats. This edible confectionery, inspired by the stew made at the local village inn and delivered through a secret portrait in times of required need. These tasty treats bring rich flavor and sweet delights to the palate, possessing hints of caramel infused with locally harvested strawberries and each wrapped with their own marquee rose pink foil, keeping them fresh. They will surely bring a burst of joy for your Patronus. DADA bookmark. Wands away, please. Created and published under the direction of the Ministry, this book shares the most basic of defense spells and counter curses known to the wizarding community. However, if you feel as though you require a more advanced curriculum, please seek out alternate education elsewhere. There are some who shall not be named that have no hesitation in attacking underage witches and wizards such as yourself. By North to South Designs. House Pen and Mystic Candle. 
Adorned with your charming house icon, this beautifully handcrafted fountain pen is instrumental to joining the association and beginning your journey to strengthen your defensive education and experience. Equipped with ink that possesses unique capabilities, you can scribe, disapparate, and then cool to reapparate if you so wish. Quibi Prototype Spectacles the advanced design and style provide the wearer with the ability to clearly see clues to guide them on their path, only to be worn by potential initiates seeking admission. These styled spectacles will prove invaluable on your quest to gain admission to the association. Designed by Trunk of Requirements and produced by Silver Daddy Clothing. If you know you, Noah, Doorway and the Come and Go Mirror. If you have to ask, you may never know. The undisclosed entryway may reveal itself to those requiring assistance, in need of a lavatory, or even the occasional storage space. Shift your view from side to side to reveal a hidden secret. When flourishing your wand, it is best to keep reflecting on your form. The mirror will provide you with the ability to hone your technique. For a more clear view, peel away the protective film by Phoenix Makes. Four Tusk Lager Mug. A beautiful handcrafted wooden mug procured from a local establishment known to be a great place to discreetly gather when attempting to avoid inquisitive attention. Enjoy a beverage of your choice and always give a wink and a snort to the local hog head. Well, that was the latest Trunk of Requirements box. Let's talk about favorites and least favorites. I love the tapestry. I think this is really beautiful. Again, it's made of like a flag material, so it will hold up for many years to come. And it's just a really cool nod to the Room of Requirement and Harry Potter in general. I thought that the mug or the stein was really, really, or lager, I think this is called a lager, is really, really cool. And I like that you're able to use it and actually drink out of it. Oh, look on the bottom. Oh, there it is. Okay, so tusk, the tusk, is this, so the tusk, it said something about tusk, but on the bottom we have the trunk of requirements logo and then 1815 written out. So that's like a clue to be like, hey, you need to write out 6.15 p.m. That's fun. So I really liked this, this was very cool. Love the pouch. I mean, the coin and the pouch were really, really well done. Very nice, solid metal coin. The pouch is fantastic. When it comes to like least favorites, it's, oh, the pen too. I forgot about the pen. The one thing I do wish, that's not the pen. <laughs> Where's the pen? Here's the pen. The one thing I do wish is that the pen came with like a cartridge that you could swap out that had just black ink. But I mean, you can do that yourself. It's just a normal fountain pen and the cartridge pops out. So you don't have to use a special type of like disappearing ink in here. You could get just solid black ink and use it as a normal pen or keep that disappearing ink and and make secret messages appear and reappear that you don't want people to know about. Um, the sleeve is really, really cool. I love that it's house themed. So me being a Slytherin, I would obviously get green. Gryffindors would get red and then blue for Ravenclaw and yellow for Hufflepuff. Packaging is very nice too. The candle, that whole disappearing thing was fun. I like that it wasn't just a basic candle. It's like a color changing candle. So that added some magic to the whole effect. Besides that, it's like, I can't, I, there's not like a least favorite item because everything kind of fits with everything. I mean, this is useful. I love the lenticular aspect of it. And it's a mirror that you can use. These bookmarks are fun. I don't use bookmarks, but it's a well-made bookmark. I like that it's just the spine of a book. So that's cool. But what about you guys? What were your favorites and least favorites? What did you think about the whole theme as a whole? What did you think about the quest? Let me and the rest of the Potter Collector community know in a comment down below. Very, very fun. I loved this disappearing magical aspect. That was just pure magic. If you would like to subscribe or give the Trunk of Requirements a try, check the description down below. You will find a link to their website. You'll also find a coupon code to save some money on items in their shop. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector, on Twitter now known as X at Potter Collector, or on Discord, the official Potter Collector Discord is linked down below. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new here, welcome! We cover all things Harry Potter on the Potter Collector channel, like 
books, merchandise reviews, unboxings, Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos, and more. If you would like to subscribe, you can click right here. You can also check out a previously posted video right around here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am happy to help. But for now, I must go. We'll see you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?